did the Worms War begin? Um, well, Worms initially started as a one-man project. Uh, it was conceived by a chap called Andy Davidson. Uh, it was a game that he wrote as a multiplayer title, something that he and his friends could enjoy. Uh, he actually wrote it while he was still doing his maths A-level at school. Uh, I think it was a bit of an ambition or a dream for Andy that one day the game might get published, so uh, he took it to a trade show in the UK. Uh, Team 17 stumbled upon it and signed uh, both Andy and the game up. Um, it came in-house, uh, it was developed, uh, it came out first on the Amiga, it was launched in 1995. Um, the game came out at a time when 3D graphics were popular, you had consoles like the PlayStation coming into prominence, so from some quarters it initially received a little bit of short shrift because it had a simple appearance, but it was difficult to uh, argue with the uh, addictive quality of the game and it went on to become a commercial and critical success. How has Worms changed? Well, over the years there have been quite a few iterations of Worms. Um, the most dramatic change probably came in the mid-2000s. Uh, the game made a couple of appearances in 3D. Uh, these appearances were solid enough titles, but they seemed, a, they seemed to have a little bit of a mixed reaction. Uh, and that was mainly due to the fact that uh, there were natural changes uh, to the gameplay brought about by the game just being in 3D. Uh, it lost a little bit of its defensive qualities. Um, some of the strategy suffered a little bit. Uh, and it became more difficult to make shots in 3D and so on and so forth. Uh, following those 3D versions, you've got the, uh, uh, the emergence of digital platforms like uh, the Xbox Live Arcade service from Microsoft, uh, Sony's PlayStation Network, the App Store, etc. Uh, and when we launched on these platforms, the game went back to its 2D roots um, and sort of got a new lease of life, really, because it was really successful on those platforms. Can you tell me about your own involvement in the series? Uh, to some degree I've been involved with every Worms game, almost every Worms game since 1999, uh, starting with Worms Armageddon on the PC. Um, I think my first role as a lead designer was in 2006 with Worms Open Warfare 2 on the PSP and DS. So, if my maths are right, the original was 17 years ago and brings us to Worms Revolution. Can you tell us more about Worms Revolution? Um, when we first sat down to think about what we wanted to make in this latest Worms game, uh, our first port of call was to establish some aims. Uh, we were very conscious of the history of the brand, where it came from, uh, the number of games that we've made before that, um, and kind of, I suppose, to a degree, uh, we wanted people to take notice of this game. We wanted a, a version of Worms that was essentially a game that could compete with the other high-quality products on those same spaces into which we'd be releasing. We didn't want to make just another Worms game. Uh, terms like uh, a next-gen version of Worms were bandied around a lot. Uh, so we basically established that we would need a new engine, um, we wanted the 2D gameplay that the series is known for and we needed some new features that would evolve the brand in um, meaningful ways. Uh, and the result was really a completely new engine, uh, we didn't want to use the 2D engine that we'd used in the past because we felt that that might limit what we were able to do. And we were also worried that it also might uh, end up looking similar to those previous games which, which wasn't what we wanted basically. And how does Worms Revolution fit into the series? Um, well, creating the game from the ground up, um, one of the things that we need to consider is that none of the things from the old game supported across, none of that stuff comes across for free. Uh, while we're trying to make something contemporary, at the same time it needs to be recognisable, it needs to feel it, it needs to play like worms, that's very important to us. We have staff members working on getting the balancing right, uh, they've worked on numerous worms games such as Worms Am again in the late 90s. Uh, with the new engine we've got gorgeous high definition graphics, we get a 3D landscape that thanks to some very clever tech deforms to the same resolution as the 2D games. Uh, the game loses none of its defensive strategy with the landscape being in 3D. Uh, if anything we've got a host of new features such as different types of worm, physics objects, dynamic water. These increase the game strategy. Um, you get situations in multiplayer games that just flat out can't happen, don't happen in the previous games. Um, each of these new features as well also allows us to bring something new to the single player experience, we can employ these to make more interesting missions, more interesting puzzles. At the end of the day, I hope the end user feels that we've made something that's recognisably worms, but has a unique freshness to it. <laughs>